line. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Well met, citizen. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. State your business. Uh-huh. Eyes open, body still. The Watcher will communicate with our new intelligence directorate. They'll determine if you're a threat to the city. Upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen, aren't you? The Watcher's gaze of presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes, it has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge and the stone floors left bloodied. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers. And the cultists who fell there, the Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison, where you will await further sentencing. Eat this, you pile of junk! Villains, take heed. Recovery oh, is imminent. Find those little that bastards or I'll have them. your heads! We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more are needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the mass is done and our lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Well, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dahl. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Of course. 
course that's why he came crawling back. He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> you always were an idiot, Petras. Is he hiding? Tell me! Brother! Please! You heard them. Tell me what I need to know. Now! The Master is preparing the Black Mass beneath his palace. There's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. I'm going to stop Kazador. What the hell's happened to you, Astarian? What are you? I'm more than what I was. And I'm not afraid of anything anymore. The sun can't harm me. Kazadur can't compel me. I'm the only person who can stop him. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. <laughs> Poor fools. They actually think Kazadur will save them. Yes, and they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> they're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador, or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils on seven spawn. And Cazador has the other six. We have to face him and take that power for ourselves. Well, yes, technically, only I will ascend and gain the ritual's power. But we're a team. If I become all-powerful, then we become all-powerful. We are a team, aren't we? You are still with me. Then we'll deal with it. It can't be worse than everything else we've faced. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right. Let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. Soon we'll feel the sun on our skin. <clears throat> that shapeshifter's key unlocked the door. Interesting. some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. You notice the blood's source, a body hidden under the bed. Identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. I buy it. The 
corpse regards you lifelessly. Theon, gold grind. Murdered by my son. Charming. She mustn't have nursed him enough as a child. Or too much. Spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Seems like a good moment to talk. Blooming hell, you look famished. I've got some victuals that'll warm you right up. Murdered? Deary me, and to think her remains were just a whisper away. M make sure Mamselle knows. Cross the way at the caress. Yeah, God, she'll be right unsettled. I'm staying put, mind. If a killer wanted me dead, I'd already be crammed under the boards. So, good, so give me three days and... Oh, I apologies. Thought you were someone else. Uh, greetings, so forth, so on. Oh? Oh dear. A dwarf, you say? Fion. One of Mamselle's girls from Charessa's caress. Been gone for a ten day. Smiled as wide as the wide, but twice as sunny. You don't suppose the murderer... Oh, goodness no. It's too horrible to imagine. Horrible hells. I better lay low. Lower than low. Under low. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No. Decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh, yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? Am I? Your eyes tell a story, sweeting. You crave more than pleasure. You crave penance. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. By the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. They'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Sweet. 
waiting. This is Baldur's Gate. I've seen more murders than a butcher's right eye. There'll be time for tears. Cruel as it is, I must turn my mind to business, or more precisely, the lack of it. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they will gift from the mamzelle, and let them show you why. Anything else on your mind, sweeting? Nisha, our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Indeed he did. Raphael. Exceedingly handsome, and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. There you are. Continue dancing. One cheek in wing. Oh, we got that right. What's up for discussion? Two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine fingers. You rats with the guild now. Heard nine fingers met a match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to hell. Is that right? The way I heard it, you zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. You there! Getting up in our affairs! Nine fingers won't be happy about Zenobia, and I'm not about to tell her. Hmm. Better you than me. Now listen, I'll only say this once. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guild Hall. And that's all you're getting from me. Now scram! The chat's officially closed. Grumple! Must have brought so many new guys. Another case closed, another bottle open. A zart of a leery Hang on a tick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? A ball plot. You as well. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods while up in fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, <sighs> fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? No need to wave documents at me. 
I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the Fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Well, what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! your distance, darling. With pleasure. What to do? If not over, then through. across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm, soft on my skin, sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you... Wait! I know you! I don't understand. What's... Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this man? Oh. Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? Tales of mind flayers, talons sharp as daggers, and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Is it not in the Elithid's barbarity that we find its splendor? Your eyes are no less monstrous, I assure you. A lesser woman might be frightened, but I am no lesser woman. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. Why should I deny it? 
My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all-being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? You are more than revered. You are worshipped. An epic sung by the bards. A legend known to the scholars. A god among mortals when the hosts of the plains raise their voices in harmony it is your name they sing and your grace they seek your flesh shivers your heart bursts true ecstasy for one fleeting moment open your eyes i remember you and you'll remember me I'm glad you came. Not to my door, not yet, but to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. First time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no, I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some privacy. The Illithid can't hear us. I brought you here because I'm true to my word, and I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless... Some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you, and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. 
I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles till the end of your days? Orpheus is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an illithid. To you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. If I'd realized you were so gullible, I'd have tricked you into selling your soul for a pocket full of beans when we first met. To the Emperor, you are nothing more than a beast of burden. One that will transport it to the Elder Brain. An ox requires food and the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. And if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. You really do think highly of yourself. My sights are set on something much more valuable than your soul. <laughs> Succulent, though it would be. I want the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I don't want to free him. I want to kill him. Lazel of Kalir, do you think you can take a blade to the Prince while the Illithid still binds him? Goodness, no. If you wish Gith's long-suffering son dead, <laughs> you need the hammer. Power. Ancient and full of wonder. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. I am no mortal, and I do not fail.
The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited. Ever watching for more than a thousand years. For a mistake. A mishap. A misadventure. And these chosen who have caused you so much trouble accidentally did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the Brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flayer in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar, we should do as the devil asks. I cannot slay Orpheus if I cannot break him free. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. We cannot slay the traitor prince unless we loose him from his astral prison. The means to do so was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Chuk. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it, and I admire you for it. We'll find a way into Raphael's lair, and we'll take the Orphic Hammer, smash Orpheus's bonds, and slice him open. Vlaketh Barnazin, Vlaketh Ixaith, Vlaketh will reign eternal! There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Raphael, well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. And what did he offer you in return? for bringing it to him. Tell me you turned him down. Good. I am 
glad. But be careful. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it, no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. Welcome to Danthilon's Dancing Axe. Our stock isn't used. It's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. How may I be of service? Harpers! I am afraid I serve a grubbier class of clientele than that. More chancers than champions, if you take my meaning. Present company excluded, I'm sure. No, I don't know any, uh... Jahira, was it? I knew it. I knew she wasn't dead. Fine, yes. You have the right place. But where's the leaf flicker herself? She wouldn't have revealed this place otherwise. Which makes you one of the rare breed she does trust. Here's the key. The others are below. And bearing bad news by the looks of it. Thank you. Right, Sommy. You're on the door till our friends are done. God forbid we do any business today. Jihira. I... I was hoping to greet the High Harper beneath Salona's tears. You have the lad a little nervous. You're the one toppled Ketherick out in the Shadowlands, no? Goaldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using Salona's tears as some kind of code. Can't say I know much of Gortash, but Orin is hunting you. And when I deliver your corpse, she'll let me keep your skin. Bloody doppelgangers! Strike hard, strike fast. In doppelgangers. How many has she brought to Bar's side, I wonder? Thank... thank you! Because... I'm not! I swear! You're... You're the one High Harper Jahira sent! Oh, thank the gods. You're the first friendly face I've seen in days. Old Danthelon included. The others. They're all dead. Or scattered. Did you hear a sent word of the victory over Ketherick? Set us hunting after the cultists in the city, but they were the ones hunting us. Things were quiet. Until we started to ask about the Rashomar. I... The High Harper didn't tell you. Uh, perhaps it's not my place. Just... Tell her this. I can't continue the hunt. Whatever the cult has done with the Rashimar, they do not want him found. I don't understand. 
Nine hells! You've followed me all the way here? What could you possibly want with me now? What? How? Nine hells! Whatever you think you know, I, I, I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. Please don't! What do you want from me? It's not my fault! I was forced to do this! Framed, even! They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys! And they're definitely going to kill me now! I can't tell you! I won't tell you! All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. The teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. But there's more. Smoke powder inside the device. I collect packages from Veloga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it. Not because I want to. Because I have to. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll kill me. I, I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. Go there. Tell them Uncle Falogia sent you and they'll show you the smoke powder. Lots of it. There. I told you what you wanted to know. Uh, now, will you let me go? His plea comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. Yes, take it, all of it. I don't care. You'll never see me again, I, I promise. 